Hey, how you doing? Good afternoon. Good evening. We're going to look up a brief history of solar prices. Um, here's how I do it. I don't really like to look at anything before 9-11. Uh, things are very different now since then. You know, we got the Patriot Act and whatever else. And uh, So, <laughs> the average price for silver, $6 an ounce around that time. And... Um, you see, we have a copper to silver ratio, a silver to copper ratio of eight to one, and a forty-five to one gold to silver ratio. That's really close to what we have now. So uh, perhaps those are the uh, possible equilibrium ratios. I don't know. I don't know if things are going to get back before then. In modern times, the last real cheap low—I mean, twelve bucks an ounce for silver. Imagine that, dude. If they did that now. I would back up a truck and be loading it with as many silver coins I possibly could. That's something I used to say at the brokerage firm I used to work at, backing up a truck. Um, but we had a gold to silver ratio of 70 to 1. That would have been an awesome time to sell gold and buy silver. You would have been able to sell your gold coin and get 70 ounces of silver. That would be so insane. Uh, copper? That eh, seems pretty good. You would only need 6 pounds of copper to get uh, a little bit of silver at this point. Man, if you were back here, if before 9-11, you uh, sold your ounce of silver for 8 pounds of copper, and you got your 45 ounces of silver and traded it for gold, then after those, a uh, couple years after those buildings hit, <laughs> after uh, the uh, Lehman Brothers collapse, after uh, they get on, remember September 08, they got on TV and were like, oh, everything's crashing. <laughs> that was crazy, that was a crazy day. So anyway, uh, the last uh, real low we had, uh, this was the last time, this was the point of no return. I mean, like, thirteen fifty an ounce. And this was not even two years ago. And, um, let me think. If I got the amount of money that uh, Zach West owed me at that time, well, I think it was uh, $320 divided by... 1350. So I could have got 23.7 ounces of silver. Let's times that by um, the current market price, which is 34.75, and uh, I would get 823 dollars. Oh, I really wish I could have got into silver at that point. Uh, we had a uh, gold to silver ratio of 88.80. That is crazy, and the copper. To 4.5 to 1, we never saw these ratios again. That was the last that we ever see of cheap silver. So we had this turning point in September 2010, and that's when it broke 21 an ounce for the first time. In all of history, it never was that much per ounce before. That means, you know, a dollar used to be, you know, a silver dollar. Now it's 21 dollars. You know, what is the Fed doing? Things are going crazy. And those are uh, ratios of, uh, you know, 6 to six to 1 for uh, silver to copper. That's still pretty good. And the gold to silver ratio is still out of control. You see it sliding back. The first real high that we had... Oh, and uh, this was a significant date. Okay, November 2010. Um, copper was at a 30-month high at this point. And somewhere in the news, it was saying China's output of copper was dropping. This is the first time that silver broke 30 an ounce. Before this point in history, it was never that high. And here's the ratios. Okay. Oh, then we got another turning point. Copper is at an all-time high at this point, February 26, 2011. That was when silver broke 34 an ounce for the first time. And here's the uh, gold-silver ratios and the copper ratio. All right, what do we got next? All right, the modern high. The modern high was good. You remember that time. We had a 44 an ounce. It was above 44 an ounce. I like to use a conservative estimate because some people say it went up to 50, but it was only like that for like a minute. I mean, if you actually tried to sell your silver at 50, no, it wasn't happening. Um, so during the range of April 13th to 29th, 2011, during this time, I got these circled because these are the extremes that we see now uh, with... Um, this is why in the other videos I was saying you gotta wait for copper to get back to uh, 10 to 1. Because that's the time that you uh, sell your silver to get copper. 
because there might be a time in which we come back to something like this in which you would sell your copper back for silver twice you know you would get two ounces of silver for all your copper and then maybe another day will come where the ratio is more like that and you'll be able to trade back you know this is where I started thinking of this kind of stuff so then uh, it was you know kind of stable over here at 34 and then uh, we had our second modern high you know during this range of time it was at 40 uh, a little above 40 and uh, here's our ratios here's what they're looking at and um, yeah, because for each of these significant dates, you know, basically I made a chart whenever you saw, like, you know, turning point, the last low, last high, you know, so I would write down what the date range was and then what the price was, and then I would calculate the uh, copper and the gold ratios at this time as well. And, uh, you know, for little brief tidbits in the news, we're throwing that down too. So then uh, we have the minus at the high. And, uh, you know, remember September 18th, September 22nd, you know, it was crazy. So, you know, it goes down below 33, and at this point, yeah, there's our copper to ratio again, that crazy one. You know, it's going to reach there soon, so you got to trade accordingly until it goes back to that, because it might. And then uh, over here, it was below 30. Then our modern low of 28. And uh, since then, that's when I did this analysis, January 6th. But since then, we had another long sta stability point of, like, around 30. It was weird. Like, there was, like, this two-week period recently in February two or three weeks in which uh, silver was like the most stable it's ever been ever and uh, but after okay so looking at these prices that what we got going on in the modern times I would consider you know if you don't want to look at uh, before 9-11 don't look at any of this stuff this might be no return I mean I don't know if we're ever going to see prices like this again but so the way things are now I mean I think 34 is a good point to consider the average if you're above 34, you might be in bubble territory. And if you get it below 34, it's a steal. Grab it. Collect them all. Got a real F fish in. Good night.